accounting for inflation. The Tesla Model 3 is now the cheapest it has ever been. January 17, 2023. The Tesla Model 3 has never been more affordable when you factor in the massive levels of inflation seen since 2020. Following a recent price drop, the electric sedan now starts at $43,990 or $45,630 after delivery. When you include the $7,500 tax credit, the Model 3 has an effective price of $36,490 $38,130 after delivery. Although a $35,000 Model 3 was offered for a brief period between 2019 and 2020, current prices are cheaper when you account for inflation. The $35,000 Model 3 did not get any tax credit. Back then, manufacturers had to have made less than 200,000 EVs to qualify for it. The production limit has since been scrapped, with new rules being introduced for 2023. The Model 3 is now considerably more affordable than its rivals. For example, the BMW i4 starts at $51,400 meanwhile the Polestar 2 comes in at $48,400. The same applies to the Model 3's crossover twin. The Model Y prices were cut by up to $13,000 with the long-range Y now having a base point of $52,990 $45,490 after the FTC. That makes it by far the cheapest AWD crossover with 300 plus miles of range on sale in the US source. Reposted and summarized from Ben O'Hare at InsideEVS.com. My take. Crazy price shifts. Sounds like a great time to get a Model 3. Tesla Model S is constantly getting improvements chief designer says. January 17th, 2023. Tesla is working every day on improving the Model S constantly thinking of ways to make life easier for the owners of the decade-old vehicle. It's something that long-time Tesla fans have known for a while. But now it's been confirmed by none other than the company's chief designer. Franz von Holtzhausen, the man who managed to break the Cybertruck's armor glass during its reveal said in a recent interview with Ryan McCaffrey, who hosts the Ride the Lightning podcast, that he worked on the Model S just a day earlier even though we've just done a refresh. And it's a big improvement on the car. We're still looking at how do we continue to make it better. He said, referring to the recent refresh of the all-electric liftback. The 2021 facelift brought new headlights and taillights, and a heavily refreshed interior with a new center screen and a rear screen. Among other things, talking about these improvements, Von Holtzhausen said it was something he and the team knew they wanted to do and took the opportunity to improve manufacturability. According to Tesla RT, he added that it took a fair amount of time to do the whole refresh. Later saying that the team probably worked on it for around a year. At one point, the podcast's host asks Tesla's chief designer how many times the Model S has been completely redesigned under the skin from its debut in 2012. To which von Holtzhausen replied with its kind of a blur. It's constant improvements through the years. Like we've improved seats over time. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably more than that. Referring to the host's assertion that the car had two or three big redesigns over time. In the same interview, Tesla's lead designer talks about how it makes sense for the Cybertruck to get the controversial yoke steering wheel. But also about how the Tesla Roadster will be better in every metric than the prototype unveiled more than five years ago. The whole interview is embedded at the top of this article. So go check it out and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Source. Reposted and summarized from Julian Nistran at InsideEVS.com. My take. Of course the classic Model S keeps on getting better and better. It's a Tesla. Tesla Cybertruck will come with DIY scratch removal solution. January 17, 2023. One of the main visual draws of the Tesla Cybertruck is its industrial-looking stainless steel finish. But what happens if a Cybertruck gets scratched? Given that looks like a bare metal finish. Well, it looks like Tesla has thought of this and it has a solution. The company's design boss Franz von Holtzhausen was recently invited on the Ride the Lightning podcast where he mentions this topic. Tesla won't actually ship Cybertrucks in a bare metal finish. The stainless steel body will have some type of coating or plating that will improve its durability. But also allow for scratches to be removed. According to von Holtzhausen, we spent a lot of time developing a finish that can be the stainless is incredibly hard so if in the event that there is a scratch, 
We do have a process that you could yourself basically buff it and remove the scratch as well and return to the basic finish that's on the stainless. It's a different process. It's not the same as the brush finish on a refrigerator or a DeLorean or something. There is an intentional finish that we apply to it. And it is able to be cured or fixed. Or in the event that you know it's going to be something pretty intense that does actually scratch the surface. Any number of metals can be used to coat or plate the Cybertruck's body. Like copper, zinc or nickel. Although the best is actually rhodium. Which is the rarest of the non-radioactive metals it's usually used in the jewelry industry. It is preferred for its mix of wear and corrosion resistance. Which sounds exactly like what Tesla needs for this application. Yet it is also quite rare and expensive. So there's a good chance the automaker will try to find an alternative. On the same podcast episode, Von Holtzhausen confirmed that design work on the Cybertruck was basically done and that it was essentially ready for production. However, he stopped short of confirming that it would enter production around the middle of this year. As per the most recent from Tesla. Source. Reposted and summarized from Andre Nedelier at InsideEVS.com. My take. Great thinking on Tesla's part. Got to plan these things through. Indonesia nearing deal with Tesla. January 17, 2023. Two of the automotive segment's most prolific electric vehicle makers may be preparing to establish their presence in Indonesia soon. As per a statement from a senior cabinet minister on Tuesday, Indonesia is closing in on agreements with both Tesla and BYD for electric vehicle facilities in the country. During a meeting with provincial governments, Indonesia Coordinating Minister Luhut Panjaitan noted that Tesla, BYD, and other automakers such as Hyundai are already finalizing deals with the country. All the biggest electric car makers in the world will invest here. BYD Group, the number one in the world. Tesla, the number two. Hyundai and Saron, they are all finalizing deals with Indonesia. The official said, as noted in a Reuters report. Tesla and BYD are yet to issue a statement on the matter. As the electric vehicle sector grows, so does the need for more battery materials. Among these materials is nickel, which just happens to be abundant in Indonesia. The country is home to 22% of the world's nickel reserves, thereby making Indonesia an ideal location for any company wishing to make a presence in the EV sector. It should be noted that Indonesia was a major nickel ore exporter, but it has since banned exports. This was to ensure that those who invest in the country have enough raw materials. It was then unsurprising to see Indonesia looking to secure a deal with Tesla. As the company is among the undeniable leaders in the electric vehicle market, Indonesian officials have met with Tesla leadership over the past year. A delegation from Indonesia has taken a tour of Gigafactory Texas, and President Joko Jokowi Widodo also met with Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Last August, Jokowi highlighted that while Indonesia has seen a lot of interest among automakers, he believes that the country should not only be a place where EV battery raw materials are supplied. Instead, Jokowi noted that the country would like car makers to produce actual electric cars in Indonesia. What we want is the electric car, not the battery. For Tesla, we want him to build electric cars in Indonesia. We want a huge ecosystem of electric cars. The president said, source, reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at teslarty.com. My take, deal with Indonesia. Yes, Giga Indonesia, not so sure.